I want to say hello galaxy because I just started this video live uh, while at the same time thinking that I was just here waiting for it to go live. I thought I would enjoy, oh, wow, really good beer, apparently. Uh, hello galaxy, I'm Chris Perillo. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I have quite a few things I want to talk about today. Of course, as you know, one of the topics is going to be Star Wars. It's a given, right? But I'm also going to talk about tech in Star Wars. You like that? I've been, like, brainstorming and thinking, right? So much that I was nervously eating all my popcorn and drinking my beer. This isn't even the strong beer. This is the not-as-strong beer. And no, it is not an imperial stout. Though it is an imperial cup. Wow, I am really slurring my words, aren't I? Had no problem talking to anybody around here, namely Diana and Jedi, up and until the point where I decided to broadcast one more time. Then I'm just Mr. Fumbles with my words. Mm. But yes, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for bearing with me as I crunch my popcorn. Crunch and Munch. It is not Crunch and Munch. That's the name of a brand of the... Uh, um, uh, oh boy. Got a hole that was caught there. Been doing a lot of weird things with my mouth today. Did you see the little short video that I posted? I want to talk about tech videos. Dude, I tied a knot with the USB cable in my mouth, with my tongue. Who does that? Who does that? I have no idea. Me, apparently. That's the idea that I have. Uh, Alright, so what kind of beer? It is... Carbonated? Uh, it's a little brownish. And it's got like a white cream colored foam on top. Maybe white is a little too far. It's mostly cream. Uh, it's not cream. It's not beer cream that I know of. Foam. I'd show it to you, but if I like tilted it too far, hang on. Can I can I make this without spilling it? There, there there's my beer. There's what it looks like. That's my beer. So if you're asking what I'm drinking, that's it. I assume that's what you meant by asking that question. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm i like, I'm ready for this. I am so ready for this. I'm going to try to do four different things tonight in this live broadcast. None of which have happened at this point, so you haven't missed anything. Oh, maybe I should finish the beer before moving on. I am here to have fun and drink beer. And, oh, man, if I put it there and I knock it over... I, I gotta finish, I gotta finish, before I move on, because, man, if I knock it, it is not, it is not cheap, but actually, it is cheap, six pack for, like, six fifty. pretty good, Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's beer, and it's good, it's becoming my go-to, although not as good as the, uh, the Imperial Stout that I usually drink, that I didn't drink tonight, it's been that kind of day, feels like a Monday. I'm sorry I made you laugh at work, or am I? The funny thing is, is I, I, I just the, these ideas come to me, and they don't necessarily, you know, require me to sit down and do a full-on like long video. Just something stupid and silly, which is honestly a bulk of my videos. Stupid and silly. That's probably my epitaph. Stupid and silly. Chris Perillo. Here lies. It would have to be Chris Perillo here lies because Yoda wrote it. Yoda's going to write my epitaph. He doesn't know that yet. That's a true story. Mm -hmm. Nothing think about it. Oh, uh, man. Okay, maybe I just need to move the beer so I don't knock it over accidentally when I try one of these little segment things. This is either... Oops. There we go. By the way, proof, I am the number one dad. See that? Do not doubt this. Number one. Number one. Okay. Now I go over here, 
and I press. Oh, wait, I have to pause that. Gotta get the popcorn out of my mouth. Hmm. I wash it down, but I put the glass over there because I don't want to knock it over. Because I'm about to like lift something up. I'm about to show you, but you're, you're gonna know. You're gonna see it. Okay. <laughs> Eating popcorn and drinking beer is literally the worst thing that you could ever do during a live video, and I did it. And, and the, it's even worse when you started out doing the thing that I did. So don't ever do what I did. If you want to, if you want to do well with life, don't ever do what I did. That's there's your tip of the day, by the way. Just don't do what I did. Okay, so let's go ahead and oh yeah, yeah, Roberto Garza. Thank you, by the way, for uh, joining this channel, uh, Roberto. I'm just going to pretend like I'm not talking awkwardly for just a moment. I also watched the first episode. It was good. That was a good one. It was a good effing episode, wasn't it? Can't wait to watch the S out of the second episode, huh? I haven't seen the second episode yet. No spoilers! Good. Here's a... Uh, this is a good question. I'm going to bookmark this. During the live broadcast here, someone who goes by the handle Chev Vlogs asks, Why do you love Star Wars? I guess the better question is, why don't you? Star Wars has been a part of my life ever since I can remember, and I can remember 40 years ago. And I, I remember barely seeing the first Star Wars movie, believe that this was before it was called A New Hope, like within a couple of weeks of its release, my dad took me to the theater, and the only scene I seem to remember from that film was specifically X-Wings, dogfighting TIE Fighters. And that is just seared into my brain. A few years later, I started to get into the Star Wars action figures, and like many children of the 80s, that's all we had. Like, there were only four channels on television, and any kind of programming for children typically was a commercial. No, no, I don't mean cartoon. I mean a commercial that was the cartoon itself. Now, Star Wars didn't have a cartoon. It was just films back in the day. And so a lot of Star Wars to me growing up was here in my imagination, role-playing with friends or playing with our Star Wars figures. And Kenner did something, I'm not going to say nefarious, but they put something on the back of those cards that we used to collect, well, at least with the action figures attached to them, saying, collect all 77 or whatever the number happened to be. And they had all, hang on just a second. I'm going to, I'm going to show you right, right here, right, right here, right now. This is indicative of what we would have seen back in the day. This is my Darth Vader Empire Strikes Back AFA graded. It's in decent shape. Like, I mean, it's still on the box. Actually, no, wait, this is not the AFA graded one. Give me a second. This is the AFA graded. Man, I need to dust. <gasps> no! Okay, well, don't worry about that one. It's it's definitely <laughs> protected. Sealed for everybody's protection. Is anybody going to sneeze? I really needed to dust. Uh, this one's AFA graded. 75, a 12 back Darth Vader. Uh, I never had one of these growing up. A Darth Vader 12 back. I didn't start collecting the action figures until years after. Uh, I didn't even ever have a Darth Vader figure on card. I traded for it. So while this particular Darth Vader is on an acrylic case, as the collection expanded, they would say, collect all 41 or 77 or whatever it happened to be. And that, for some reason, also, like, stuck in my brain. And I kind of became obsessed some people would say I'm still obsessed. Some would say I never lost the obsession apart from dust. I also collect dust, though, so don't don't panic. This 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 dust is collection worthy. So that's really where it started for me. The collect all whatever number it happened to be. I uh, I don't think I could ever eliminate my childhood. I mean, it's something that some people might want to do for themselves. Uh, I'm not one of those types of people. I enjoyed Star Wars in my childhood and well into adulthood. So why wouldn't I love Star Wars? It's always been a part of my life. And I love my life. Fair? Fair? That's why I moved the beer over there. 
Yeah, I forgot. This one was an AFA graded. It's just a, it's a card. It's carded Darth Vader. I just put it in an acrylic case. <laughs> Could you guys see the dust? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the dust. The dust. Okay. Now I'm going to do the video I wanted to do. Okay. After I have a sip of the beer, I'm right here. Mm. Maybe I do need to drink beer more often. Okay. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. Am I pitting out? I don't think I am. Dang. Okay. Now I'm going to... I'm gonna try to do another video. I'm gonna, we're, we're doing some tests here. I'm not sure how well they're going to work, but we will see. Okay. Okay. There is a difference between loving Star Wars and using your food budget to buy a Darth Vader toy. Well, the good news is I eat, as does my family. Trust me, we have more than enough food. So don't worry about that. I eat. But you know what? Here's another thing. I don't know if you knew this. We're we're all not going to be around forever. This the plastic around me probably going to be around forever. All these things going to outlive me. But while I'm here, I'm going to enjoy it. When I'm dead, I will no longer enjoy Star Wars stuff. And then we're all and then I won't have to eat. So, it's a win-win situation. See the thing is, I I don't know. This is what really kind of this is this sticks in my craw. Like when anybody comes along and tells me that the way that I enjoy Star Wars is wrong. No, no, no. I'm not wrong. You're wrong. Like just because you enjoy it one way, or just because you believe it can only be enjoyed a certain way, doesn't mean that somebody else doesn't enjoy it the way they do. Like it's very subjective. And the good news is, you're not me, and I'm not you. So if I happen to enjoy something that you don't, who cares? I don't care. Because I enjoy it, and you probably shouldn't care that I enjoy something that you don't enjoy, because I'm not you. I don't understand why I seem to have to explain this, like, almost every day to people on the internet. <laughs> but it's true. There's no wrong way to like Star Wars. There's no right way to like Star Wars. Just like... There's no best Star Wars film. Like, it's all, well, to me, Star Wars. Now, you may have a favorite. Great. But just because your favorite's different from my favorite doesn't mean that, A, we can't get along, and B, I'm wrong. It's my feeling. It's my opinion. I mean, come on. It's like me walking up to you and saying, yeah, you know that sandwich you're eating? You don't like what it happens to taste like because you're not like me. Like... Who does that? I guess the internet makes it okay. And especially when it comes to Star Wars, because there's so much, so much Star Wars to enjoy. And they keep making more. And I'm happy about that. I'm incredibly happy about that. Having lived through a dark period of my life where there was no new Star Wars. There wasn't. Now, granted, some would say that we had the EU. Uh, I, I dabbled in EU territory. Never really grew up with comics, so I didn't even have those. Uh, I found Star Wars to be here, in my head, which is largely where I lived. Pretty much all my life! So if I happen to find my enjoyment with Star Wars to be attached to toys, collectibles, merch action figures, whatever. I'm not sitting here saying, no, 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 you're enjoying Star Wars wrong because there's a difference between collecting toys and eating food. Well, yes, there's a difference between those two things. And you've got to address Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Why is Wi-Fi not a part of Maslow's hierarchy of needs yet? I don't know. It needs to be. I'm not saying that Star Wars needs to be a part of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. I'm not even saying that my life would just end the moment Star Wars wasn't in it. But I enjoy it. And, and I'm going to be on this planet for a very brief time. All this plastic around me, here indefinitely. <laughs> so while we're here together, this is the way it's going to be. No wrong way of enjoying Star Wars. That's me. Maybe not you, but I'm not you. And you're not me. <laughs> is, that, is that okay? Are we good? Dang, people. 
you don't... This is the problem with the internet. Everyone has customized their own feed to the point where it's personalized to them and their tastes and their beliefs and everything, this echo chamber, right? To the point where so when someone steps outside of the parameters they've set up for that other person in their own head, there's schism. Like, and there doesn't need to be. If you just understand, you are not everybody. Uh, it, it, it it bugs me. It always bugs me. Just it just that it just bugs me. So no, don't sit there and tell me that there's a difference between a Star Wars figure and food. Duh! I get it, <laughs> and I eat. Trust me, to the point where I have to watch what I eat. <laughs> Eating is not a problem for me at all. Oh, see, not, I'm nervously eating again. I'm eating popcorn. <laughs> you didn't get me riled up. I'm good. I'm good, Ricky. I needed to get riled up. I don't mind. I don't know. I, I don't mind, really. Oh, you were just making a joke. It's a good joke. I mean, it, it's not... I mean, it doesn't always come across like a joke. But honestly, some people do that. They, they get mad in the fandom. They get mad at other fans because they like different things. Like, you like the Phantom Menace? What's wrong with you? But they like the Phantom Menace. What are you taking away from, man? I, you know what? With anything. Anything. Whether we're talking about a form of entertainment. Whether we're talking about a beer. Uh, whether, whatever we're talking about. I could find something not to like about anything. But if someone else happens to like it, who am I to take away that joy? Who am I? Who am I? Some people have the same problem when it comes to, like, uh, uh, choice. Oh, thank you. I got YouTube sent a notification saying I'm live. Thank you. Real I needed that. Yeah, I know I'm live. I'm the one who pressed the button. Um, it's, it's like smartphones, right? Hey, what smartphone are you using? Uh, uh this one. How are you? What? They can't, they're so flustered, they can't even get out a sentence. How could you use that phone? That's not the phone I use. You're using the wrong phone. What's wrong with you? Possibly nothing. <laughs> or let me go a step further. Possibly is not, there, there's possibly no <laughs> that's all folks. There's possibly nothing wrong with them to use the things that they choose to use or the things that they're using. Unless of course they come up with a list of complaints. And when you're around something all the time, you probably could rattle off a list of complaints for anything and everything. It's, it just, I, I don't know, I don't know, there's just something about it. It just, it just sticks in my craw. I don't even know where my craw is. But something is stuck there. Like, just let them enjoy it. So what if they use something different? <laughs> so what if they spend their spare time doing the things they want to do? Doesn't hurt me a bit. I don't know. Go skiing on the weekends. I don't care. Don't admonish me for not wanting to ski on the weekends any more than I would want to or should admonish you for wanting to ski on the weekends. Now, if you asked me if I wanted to go sledding on the weekend, I'd be, I'd be up for sledding if there was snow. We don't have any in the immediate area right now, but anyway. We're an overly negative world. Yeah, Richard, that's the thing that just bugs me. It really does. It just bugs me. How dare you be a different person than me? <laughs> what? Do, do you hear yourself? How dare you like the thing I don't like? Do you hear yourself? Oh. I like options. That's the thing. Okay. Now, for real. Oh my god. I'm going to get back to the thing that I wanted to talk about, like, from the very beginning. Except for Salacious Rum. I'm sorry. Salacious Rum, me and you, right now. Okay. This is wrong. You are wrong. Pineapple on pizza is wrong. Period. That's just wrong. It's just, it's repugnant. <laughs> and you're wrong for liking pineapple on pizza. I've had
had pineapple on pizza too. Don't get me wrong. Oh. Okay. Why is the stream glitching? I don't know. Ooh, yikes. Oh! Wait, did I do something? Give me a second. I think I. Diana? Diana? She can't hear unless I, like, scream it. I don't know if she's doing something. Did I? Ooh, this is why. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I forgot to do something, and now I did it. So, theoretically, the stream will improve. Okay. Yep, it's improving. <laughs> Oops. All right, here we go. What is the best air popcorn recipe? Uh, use air. That's that's my number one tip for making air popcorn. Okay. Now. Thank you, Pink Panther. You've been a force of positivity in this uh, server. And no, Salacious Rom, I wasn't joking. Pineapple on pizza is wrong. <laughs> Obviously, I'm being facetious. It's a little war we have going on. It's a little Star War that Salacious Rum and I have going on. Pretty cool guy. Sorry, Kawakian Monkey Lizard. You should follow him on uh, YouTube and social media. Um... I should, I, uh, ooh, I can't, I can't link off to your channel very easily right now. I retweet every so often. Not all the time. Sorry, I got dust flying around after pulling those things down off the shelf. Okay, so we're going to try something else here, now that I've done that. See, exactly, how dare you wear a blue shirt on Monday. I mean, people are just, what am I going to be mad about today? Let me log on to the internet. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are splitting up? Who could have seen this? Who could have predicted this? <laughs> I want to see more hauls, Salacious Rum. Like when you did that that vintage uh, or the toy haul. It wasn't vintage. It was modern, maybe a little bit of vintage haul. I like watching haul videos, personally. I don't know why. I just enjoy it. Like, what, you know, ooh, what do they have here? What did they get there? Ooh, ah, ooh. Uh, hauls. I've got a haul over here. We're going to do a little haul. I may even do a haul every day, like Star Wars haul of the day. That's kind of an exciting thing. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Give me a second. I'm going to bookmark this next section. Tech. It's everywhere, including in Star Wars. And if I had one bit of technology that I wish was available here, as much as I realize it would lead to circumstances that would not exactly be great for everybody who had this bit of technology around them, the same could probably be held true for the hollow net. I mean, the internet. It's an amazing thing. It interconnects us. It allows us to learn about what's happening throughout the galaxy. Uh, I mean, on the planet. Back to the one piece of technology. The one piece of technology I wish was real is a lightsaber. This is like my top tech for Star Wars. And not just because it's iconic, but because it would do so many good things. Like cutting into doors that you couldn't get through otherwise. Like slicing through thick brush, like cutting hair. Think of all the possibilities of having your own lightsaber. Wouldn't you want to have your own lightsaber? If you had a choice between owning your own lightsaber or let's say a uh, regular stick, which would you choose? I'd choose a lightsaber every single time, despite the imminent danger. I understand that. But this would easily be my top tech choice for Star Wars. And there's so much amazing tech in Star Wars. And even I knew that as a kid. Seeing things that I'd never seen before. Imagining what a world could be with that technology in it. But the lightsaber, it's not just iconic. It's the best piece of technology I see in Star Wars. And there's a lot to choose from. You'd probably pick something different when it comes to a top piece of tech from Star Wars. Like, what would you upgrade every year? What would you upgrade, right? Think about it. If you lived in the galaxy far, far away, 
what's the one thing that you would constantly want to be upgrading? Your tech. What tech would need to be upgraded to the latest and greatest? Your lightsaber. Why? Because it's everything! And it's not just for Jedi. You don't have to be a Jedi to wield a lightsaber, a laser sword, whatever you want to call them. I think this, a lightsaber, is my top tech for the world of Star Wars, the galaxy of Star Wars, or whatever you want to call that place a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. You feel me? Anything else? Huh? What do you think? Yeah, right there? Would that be fun? Sweet? I think so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Anthony. So I know it would be dangerous, right? We'd be, you know, slicing each other. I don't know if the world would be ready for lightsabers, but it's still an amazing piece of technology. All right. Uh, give me a second. Oh, okay. So. Wow. I, I think I got three out of that. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to do is scores hall my hall sorry i'm getting up because i needed to get i needed to get i needed to get a sip of beer all right beer has been imbibed uh give me a second uh i gotta get <laughs> okay uh do i want to do the hall what do I have? Uh, okay, most interesting tag. Oh, best way to enjoy Star Wars. There we go. Star Wars scores, tips for staying healthy, High Republic. Okay. Gonna move the lightsaber. The last thing I need to do is accidentally slice myself again. Ah! Do I have, hang on, I gotta think. Do I have, mm, I do. Diana! Diana! I can't just leave an empty chair. I'm gonna have to substitute. Uh, I already got that. I, I thought I had my brush in here, but I don't. Diana! She's forcing me to do this. Give me a second. Okay. Let me go ahead and like... Here, let me give you my thoughts on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Here are my thoughts. Since I don't have one, here, you ready? Here I go. These are my thoughts on the iPhone 12 Pro Max Plus Premium Platinum. These are my thoughts. You ready? Because I'm not going to repeat them. Here we go. Don't have one, so here I go. These are my thoughts. Ready? Glad I got that off my chest. Give me a second now. Can I get back to the topic at hand? Thank you. Um, need. In, oops. I got, I'm texting Diana here. Technology. Ain't it wonderful? Because I, I tried yelling. That didn't work. I guess I can try calling. Let me see. I'm going to short circuit her. She's going to get, she's going to get, she's going to be livid. And there have been times Diana's been livided. Livided? That's good beer. Okay, so let me, I'm going to try. Thank you. Can you get the, uh, the, you know where I'm talking about? The brush? Thank you. I'm going to talk about hygiene, which I realize may be difficult to talk about with, the group of males that are with me because I totally forgot to put on underarm and I'm sure a few of you could use a shower. That's a guess. I can smell you from here. <laughs> uh, obviously I can't and trust me, be grateful. You can't smell me because I've been eating nothing but beans for like a week straight. So yeah, Kanye and Kim, 
I totally heard the news. I knew I heard it before you did. What do you mean, how do I know him? Because I'm connected. I'm jacked in, man. Johnny Pneumatic. I, what do you mean, be right there? I thought you already got it. What are you, I, don't, I didn't need you to hang out with me. I need you to grab the hairbrush. <laughs> she was watching my stream, was she? She didn't comment, Roberto. Uh, by the way, if you guys are asking questions that aren't related to Star Wars, the chances of me answering them are between slim and none. Let me go a step further. Uh, every week here is Snark Week. Now, I realize that Shark Week is a thing on some networks and some channels. I'm not into Shark Week. Never watched a Shark Week in my life. But I'm a snarky guy. So every week is Snark Week around here. For real. Dude, I know exactly where it's at. I could have had it and been back by now. I can't complain. I'm asking for her help. Diana? Boo! That's one face wipe. That, she, do you know where it's at? I lost her. I'm going to need to call her again. I heard a drawer opening and shutting. Hang on. What's my favorite Kanye song? I, Dude, I barely know who Kanye is. Nothing! Diana, I've been doing nothing but that. She asked me to entertain you. That's going to be a stretch. Come on, Diana. What's my favorite Lego Star Wars game? I'm looking forward to the Skywalker Saga. Uh, because I have not played a lot of Lego Star Wars video games. And they're great, don't get me wrong. I remember when they were first released. It was exciting to see. But I'm not much of a gamer. As much as I love Lego, I like the actual building and collecting part of Lego. So the video game side of Lego, not as interesting. I like the animations, like the cartoons that have certainly been made. Uh, uh, Droid Tales, fantastic series. Yoda Chronicles, also fantastic. Uh, the Empire Strikes Out, I believe was another title. Then there was the Skywalker... No, not the Skywalker Adventures. The... The... Haymaker Adventures? No, Freemaker Adventures. Oh, uh, for some reason, I was thinking... Boxing. Or Haymaker. Right. So, and I don't know that much about boxing. I probably know about as much as I do uh, boxing as I do uh, 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 Lego video games. But uh, the fact that they're retooling the Skywalker Saga... And I'm not going to say going back and uh, kind of rebooting what was once done with the Lego video game franchise, but in many ways, this seems to be the title that would bring me to play the Skywalker Saga uh, video game, the Lego Star Wars video game. Hey, Boo. Hi. You want to see? Sorry. Did not mean to scare you. You want to sit? Brush your hair? Stormtrooper brush? <laughs> it used to stick in my hair, but there we go. Oh, careful, 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 honey. You don't want to knock into that. That that would be dangerous. Be very dangerous. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Okay, you good? Yeah. Okay. All right. What do I do for a living? Uh, well, I like to. Uh, Move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to... It's not what I do for a living. Um, so... What phone are you currently using? Ask Saturday Morning Tech. Let me check. Mm, I got the one with the screen. That's the one I recommend. Okay. Now, back to the topic I wanted to do. You want to cover? Here we go. Uh, I should not have eaten popcorn because now I got the holes everywhere. <coughs> I 
I'm drinking out of a solo cup. Though the liquid inside is a bit chewy. <clears throat> Personal hygiene is important. Even if you don't believe it, everybody around you believes it. And there are ways to stay healthy with Star Wars. It's been that way for some time, but I wanted to show you a few things that I've been using lately. Starting with a bandage. I, I sliced my finger as I was breaking down a cardboard box. I should have worn gloves, I know. But I'm kind of glad I sliced my finger because it gave me an opportunity to wear this bandage. This is Luke. Sorry if it wasn't apparent there. Earlier, I was wearing the Yoda version of this bandage, and then yesterday, I believe it was another version of the bandage. You can get these Star Wars Band-Aids right now, and they've had earlier series available with a variety of characters. That was a Stormtrooper on one side of the box, and on the other side, we have an R2-D2. There's also a box variant that has Darth Vader on it, so you know I'm a fan of that. Let me go ahead and show you one of these little bandages. The Stormtrooper. And there are others as well. So when you slice yourself, don't cry. Clean the wound and then apply some Star Wars to it. You will feel better almost immediately. And it's true. I felt better like as soon as I put this bandage on. But it needs to be you know changed out on a regular basis. Another thing that needs to be changed out is your scent. Like, you know, we have to refresh ourselves. Otherwise, we may not smell our best. Unless, of course, you have a, a natural scent to you. You may be a Wookiee. I, I hear they smell nice. I've never actually smelt one up close and in person. But let's just say you don't smell great. If you don't, you may need a little help. Did you know that Star Wars perfume and cologne is available? I've had this for a number of years. Darth Vader cologne, Star Wars cologne exists! You know, you don't want to buy the ones that everybody else buys. Those are commonplace. Everyone knows those scents. Don't you want to smell like Sith? I do. Every day. Now, I don't use this particular spray every day. I have other Star Wars clones. I'm not going to show you all of them. Although, I might want to do that. Maybe a, a whole five ways to smell like Star Wars video? Does that sound good to you? Does it smell good to you? Smells good to me. The next way you can stay your best is by keeping your hair perfectly groomed. And what do you get a Wookiee for Christmas if he already owns a comb? A brush. Did you know that you could brush your hair with a Stormtrooper? You can. I didn't really need to because my hair is short right now. But when it's longer and curly, kind of like a Wookiee's, maybe I'm part Wookiee. I need to talk to my parents. Uh, when your hair is unruly, you can brush it and stay fashionable in the Star Wars galaxy. Right there with the Stormtrooper hairbrush. Is that, is that what they call these things? Like a de detangler hairbrush? I don't have any tangles right now. It's, just, I, it's, it's not a thing with my hair. I apologize. One thing I do have is not gingivitis, not cavities, plaque. I have plaque on my teeth, so I gotta, like, scrape it off. Of course, you probably knew they had Star Wars toothbrushes out there, electronic toothbrushes or regular non-electronic toothbrushes, but did you know that there's Star Wars toothpaste available? Right here? This is even strawberry-flavored. Which, by the way, if you tasted Darth Vader, he would taste like strawberry. This is true. Look it up on Wikipedia. It was right there. Did I say Wikipedia? I meant Wikipedia. That's also a thing. Star Wars toothpaste. If you're gonna get rid of plaque, you might as well just, you know, zap it off with the, you know, Darth Vader toothpaste that tastes like strawberry. Not strawberry. Strawberry. Now, the fifth way that you can stay healthy and be hygienic with Star Wars, especially when we have to uh, rub elbows, not wanting to shake hands at this point in time because we got to be careful about germs you need hand sanitizer because if you shake someone's hand and you hadn't washed your hand or they haven't washed their hands in a while you might say ew maybe you have goo on your hands well instead of goo on your hands you could have grow goo on your hands did you know 
that there's Grogu hand sanitizer, a.k.a. Baby Yoda. It's available. And it's good. Oh, it's great. It is, oh, Grogu-licious. Now, I, I, I'm not saying that you should, like, you know, lick or eat the hand sanitizer. But you can certainly sanitize your hands and be healthy. Healthier, happier, hygienic with Star Wars. I mean, how else are you going to do it? You know, with regular products? That would be for somebody else. Not me. And what do you think? Yeah? It's a good thing? Is this... I'm trying things, people, tonight. I'm, go I'm, I'm grabbing, like... I'm doing, uh, uh... I don't know if any of this is going to work. I mean, it's good. Conceivably, it's going to work, yes, but... Ah! Oh, sorry. I knocked the thing out of there. See, I, was, I had that. Uh, see, there, see, there's the stack over there from the... I, I minimized the stack, by the way. Like, over here, it was all the way up, but I actually changed that, and I also changed what was up there from the home office tour. So let me go swing back here. We're good? Yeah, that's about right. Spaceballs. Yes, right. Sp Spaceballs, the hand sanitizer. Spaceballs, the hair detangler. Uh, you have the hand sanitizer? See, F, I knew I wasn't the only one. The jar jar of jelly. That's good. Richard Sims, you may win the comment of the night. Liz, you've missed all the fun. I've done like three or four Star Wars videos tonight. And yes, Liz, I think we need your help. Uh, cause, uh, I'm rolling. Okay, five products. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is star scores. Okay, the things that I got today. The haul. The haul and a half. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Bobble. Got the bobble, but I'm not sure. All right. Yes, you missed all the fun. No, you're, you're here just in time, Liz. Oh, yeah, we're doing well on time. I'm... Trying something. Trying something new. All right. You're adding purple and blue to your hair? Dude, we were just talking about hygiene and stuff. Hi, Gene. I don't know if Gene's watching right now, but hi, Gene. What chair is that? Mine. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do should teach you the cable trick. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. I'm not going to teach you the cable trick. That's why it's a trick. <laughs> Here's the funny thing. I actually had a... Oh, sh I had a smaller... Or I should say shorter... This is the... this is the There's the cable. I, I mean... I had a short... Well, let's see if it's shorter. It may be about the same length. Never mind. I thought it was shorter. Oh, it would have been shorter. Yeah, I have a USB-C cable that I was going to use, and I should have because it would have been smaller. I get... So the first time in that video... The first time I gagged myself, it was it was fake. I was pretending to gag. The second time in the video was real. That was a real gag. The the one I'm gonna do tomorrow, here's a sneak peek. The one I'm gonna do tomorrow is gonna be micro Uzba versus Uzba type C. And I'm not gonna tell you how it went who wins, right? But it's gonna be micro Uzba versus Uzba type C. Because there's a difference, right, between those two things. One of these is going to win. When I do the verses, I better leave these cables out. So I remember to do that possibly tonight to upload tomorrow. You know, all three of you will watch. Okay. You've been enjoying my videos? Well, I've been enjoying you enjoying those videos. So, win-win. There may be an, a slow period on Star Wars stuff this year because of COVID. Yeah, that's a distinct possibility. So... You should tune into your favorite Star Wars creators. Okay, give me a second. Next one I want to do is the haul. Star Wars haul. Five things, five new Star Wars things today for me. What do you get, the Star Wars fan who already has everything? More Star Wars stuff, even if they already had it. Every day, I seem to get a Star Wars haul, and no day is different than today, because it's the same thing. Star Wars. 
<laughs> so these are the things I got today. Whether or not I had them, I'm not sure in relation to some of the items, including this. Valentine's Day is coming up, and Pez is a staple. You see Pez candy dispensers frequently, especially when it comes uh, to uh, getting gifts around a holiday. I'm not sure if I remember getting the D.O. dispenser, so I grabbed a couple, just in case. Price was decent, and even if I already had a D.O., I don't think I had a D.O. in a Darth Vader container with the Darth Vader branding here for Star Wars. I think the uh, D.O., if I had one, was potentially in another bit of packaging. I know, I should probably organize my Pez collection. Maybe I will someday. And maybe I have two D.O. Pez dispensers. Not a problem for me. I'll just, you know, enjoy the Pez even more than I did before with two D.O.s. First thing I have today. The second thing I have to show you today, still in the package. I mean, this is a package I'm going to open. Scrunchies. And I know you're thinking to yourself, well, Chris, how are you going to use these scrunchies here? The Mandalorian. H how's that going to work with your hair? I'm glad you asked. Give me a second. Jedi! Han! Oh, I'm hoping she's going to hear me. I didn't prepare her for this particular segment. But these scrunchies can be put into long hair. Or certainly longer hair than mine. <coughs> oh, I should not have eaten the popcorn before doing this. One of these scrunchies has little ears. Uh, isn't that the most adorable thing? I almost want to grow my hair longer just to wear a Grogu scrunchie. Who would not want to wear this? I'll never have hair that long, unfortunately. But Star Wars scrunchies, specifically Baby Yoda scrunchies, are available if you didn't already know it. Now, you know I love thrifting. Love it. Uh, there are some days that I don't find anything at all. And there are some days that I find things that I didn't necessarily have before including today's thrift score in one bag that totaled $1.99. I just opened it right now. I probably should have shown you everything inside the bag, but you got to trust me on this. I got a Darth Maul eraser. Not exactly brand new, but new enough because I didn't have one. It's in decent shape. And a Yoda eraser, a regular Yoda, not like a baby Yoda. I don't know if they have Grogu erasers that are this size. Actually, they do. Oh, I should show you those. Maybe tomorrow? Maybe the next day? Let me know. Uh, Yoda eraser, also in that bag. And the third thing in that bag, a Darth Vader eraser! Yeah! Ha ha ha! This is awesome, because this will stay somewhere in this room. The other two erasers probably float elsewhere, because we have a Star Wars house. That's not the official name for the house. It's just that inevitably there's Star Wars everywhere. Uh, looks like I'll have to eliminate some of the markings on the back. So I've got to like do this for a while, you know, scrape it off or, you know, rub it off, you know, on some piece of paper or something like that. But either way, those three erasers for two bucks, great score. Another thing I can't remember if I had, but I saw it while thrifting. So I grabbed it because I thought it was a decent price was this. I can get it on. A Sith Trooper. A helmet. That's not really a helmet. It's a mask. There's mesh on the front so I can see you just fine. I like these types of masks. They're very lightweight, very breathable, very cheap. And even though the price tag was $2.99, which would probably have been a right around the retail price, I figured, why not? I had a $2 off $5 purchase coupon, so I got all of these basically for $3. Couldn't pass it up. And, you know, I could always use another Sith Trooper mask slash helmet, you can army build, you know, if you have more than two people playing and both of you want to play as a Sith Trooper. We didn't see enough of these. Uh, not the mask, necessarily. The Sith Troopers. Raise your hand if you want to see more Sith Troopers somewhere. I do. And raise your other hand if you want to see more Star Wars stuff when you thrift. Okay, I'm raising both hands there because I definitely want to see that. Uh, the next thing I got was a pre-order that finally arrived. The Mandalorian from the Vintage Collection. The one where he's in Beskar Steel. The best steel out there. Now, I'm not going to say that this figure was a steel, because it came in right at retail price, and I may have ordered one too many, but could you really have too many Din Djarin's lying around? Is that a thing? I don't think it's a thing. I wouldn't want it to be a thing. I would take a Star Wars figure into this house whether or not I had like 4,000 of them already. 
or not. Which is very clear, as evidenced by the many stormtroopers that I have around me. Not as many Sith troopers, but definitely Darth Vader's. Din Djarin. Beskar Steel. The thing I like about the Vintage Collection figure is that he can wear his cape and his jetpack simultaneously. And of course, it's the Vintage Collection, so I love the scale. 3.75 inches. He also comes with his weapons. No baby uh, Yoda or Grogu available in this particular Mandalorian figure pack. Because it's not a pack, it's just a single carded figure. Still! Steel! Huh? But not a steel. Steel for a... St Steel, but not as it made sense in my head I think another thing I got today it came in after I had uh, picked it up online thrifting shall we say I, I feel I got a good deal going to the big auction place in the sky on the hollow net something that I thought my daughter would enjoy a Queen Amidala watch right there Queen Amidala it even says Queen Amidala this would have been nice to have eons ago, you know, I mean, or I guess something like this now, because she's looking for items that are Star Wars branded that she wants to wear. And let's face it, Queen Amidala was stylish, totally stylish. So I'm hoping she's going to wear this, if only to make this the timepiece that will help her learn how to tell time. Uh, watch features five function LCD timepiece, flip top lid with an adjustable strap and a one year warranty, which undoubtedly is now out. But it's a Star Wars collectible, so the warranty is in my heart. It will last forever here and of course here, uh, probably not biodegradable, but very stylish. Look at the uh, design. That's going on with the strap there. I think she's going to love this. And if she was able to answer my calls, even though she's in the other room and I didn't warn her that I was going to do a haul right now, I think she's going to enjoy it very, very much. Maybe the Wookiees will bring it to her tomorrow as a surprise. What do you think? Well, those are the things I got in today's Star Wars haul. I know I'm missing so much more. So if you see something that's Star Wars that you don't think I've seen, let me know. I may have to get it if I don't already have it. And if I have it, I may get another one. Who knows? Eh? Who would win, Star Wars or Star Trek? Neither one, because the two can coexist. Uh, is Star uh, Star Trek Discovery done? Has that wrapped Season 3 yet? I don't know if Season 3 has wrapped. That's when I have to pick up CBS All Access so I can watch it again. Ah! There's the weaponry. Did I get the Barbie? I already had the Barbie, Matt. Sorry, Ryan. Old habits. I already had it. We already had the Barbies. I had the, the Darth Vader Barbie over there. And then I had the... Uh, um, um, we, we just got the other Barbies for Christmas. Santa Claus brought them for Jedi. So yeah, we got the Barbies. Minus two. We need the Stormtrooper Barbie and the very expensive Chewbacca Barbie. So we gotta wait until they go on sale. They dropped to 60 bucks, I grab them. Is that really Queen Mine Double? Or oh, that's a great question, Roberto. This may be the decoy. I don't know. It's a stylish hand band thing. And the brand says Hope. It's like a new Hope. I don't know. Or an old Hope. Hang on. Diana, I have a problem with all the. All the nooch drops down. I want to like get to the nooch, so like sprinkle it. It's like salt and nooch. Oh, that's all good. Um, last episode of season three airs Thursday. John Kirby, thank you very much. I appreciate that. That means potentially Friday I'll be binging Discovery. I'm mostly caught up on all my shows. Mostly, the star, the swear history of swear words is the one that I'll wrap that pretty quickly. It's more of a bubblegum kind of a series. Uh, caught up on just about everything else that I know of. I watched Midnight Sky last night. That's the one with George Clooney. It was decent. I think stylistically, um, there's a couple things. Now that I've seen the whole thing, they could have and should have done differently in the film that would have been far more of like a... I don't know. What's the best word to use? I mean, it was. I enjoyed it. 
there were times that I just got, I kept zoning out though. It was very, I, uh, I needed more, not excitement, but just more engagement. I don't know. I, I, I was, I tuned out frequently. I, it took me a while to get into. I'm like, no, I really want to watch this. I want to see what's going on with this. I haven't heard much about it, but like, it seems compelling and it was good. The payoff I felt was, uh, worth the time watching it. I just feel that the pacing was off. Like, if I'm, like, wanting to check my phone, like, every 10 minutes, I'm, like, pacing's off. Yeah, one thing you can't say about a Chris Perillo video, especially live, pacing is never off, yo. Ryan Person asks, what do you think of the action figures that are made to look like the ones from the 70s? They're in retro bubble packs and everything. Mm, give me a second. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's do this one. Okay. I'm trying something here tonight. Don't know if it's going to work. Well, it's working in the sense that I think I got, like, a bit out of it. Okay. <clears throat> Ryan, that is amazing. I'm almost at 400k. Dude, Jack Snow, I'm not even close. Like, unless, like, 100,000 people just subscribed right now... <laughs> Sorry, 70,000 people. I don't think I've ever cracked 360 on YouTube. But the problem is, is that the type of videos I want to do are not necessarily the videos that people who subscribe want to watch. Case in point, look at any one of the questions asked in this particular live video. The things I want to talk about and the things that other people think that I want to talk about. And there is a radical disconnect. Okay. So here, give me a second. During the live feed, Ryan Pearson asks, what do you think of the action figures that are made to look like the ones from the 70s? They're in retro bubble packs and everything. That's a great question. And my short answer is, I like them. So long as they are new. Not necessarily exactly the same as the figures that we had before. An example of a new retro style figure that I like? Grand Moff Tarkin, because we didn't have a Grand Moff Tarkin back in the day. So it was nice to see a Grand Moff Tarkin in the retro style, as they call it, to be able to not necessarily place alongside my vintage figures, but a figure that was designed like it would fit in that type of collection. I don't necessarily like these retro figures. And what I mean by that is that, well, let me go ahead and show you. On this side, it's a figure that's new. On this side, it's a figure that's definitely not new. Which is more valuable? Well, it could be argued that this one is, right? Because it is old or older, original. And despite its imperfect condition, it's still original. This one, however, is just as much fun. Like, this Darth Vader figure. If it was open, and I do have one of these that's open. Of course, I have many of these that are open. But they're the same. Like, you couldn't tell me the difference between the two. I'm sure there are some people who could, but most people couldn't tell you the difference between a modern retro and a vintage figure. I mean, on card, for sure, but loose? Mm, like, I don't know. In terms of enjoyment, they're the same. You can't tell me that you would enjoy an original or vintage Darth Vader figure more than a retro style Darth Vader figure. I, I just, I can't see it apart from knowing that you've collected, you know, a vintage figure over a modern figure. So that's the thing that kind of bugs me about the retro collection. Like I feel like they didn't need to remake these because I feel that there were plenty of these still available. And I, I don't think that the retro collection has necessarily watered down the value of the vintage collection. If anything, it probably made them worth even more. It just makes it very difficult to collect vintage items because so many modern things are available. And the word that every collector hates to hear, repro. That's another snag that you can run into when you start redoing the classics. So I like the idea. A lot. In many ways, I like the execution a lot of the retro collection. Even with this gigantic sticker, which a lot of collectors don't like, it doesn't bother me. 
Uh, I enjoy this. Maybe not the same way that I enjoy a vintage uh, figure. I would encourage Kenner, <laughs> Hasbro, to do more of these, but less of these. More unique characters we never got, more unique figures we never got, fewer figures that we already had or already have. Does that make sense? Man, that was a great question. Damn good question, Ryan. Oh, yes. See, because what I'm doing here in this broadcast, if you haven't figured it out by now, I've like I've got like four or five videos that I've done in this live broadcast that I'll be able to carve out and publish individually as a test. That's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I've never watched Merlin. Just having your sea salt seaweed. Ooh, all right, man cave hobbies. Yum. Actually, Pez Liz, we realized after we said individual, uh, it, Diana begins with D-I. So it's J-E-D-I. We realized that it, it, she doesn't have to individual. It could be a you know, random thing. She can decide what the I is short for. Or it's actually Di. D-I from Diana. So it works kind of both ways. Uh, Chris, will we see live Perillo phone calls in 2021? Roberto, here's I want to do that again. The problem was I don't have a line producer. And, and I had several calls that I was ready to wrap up, and I don't want to be rude, and I can't set a time limit. And it was just like, okay, I don't want to, like, this is going off on a tangent that I, I really don't want to go down, or it's taking a lot of time. I'm losing interest, but I don't want to say I'm losing interest because I don't want to be rude. And, and not everybody, and then some people were going to chat about things. The prob, That's the problem, is not when we're not on one topic that we all care about, it's just, it's... And if I open live phone calls... Man, I'd be answering questions that, honestly, I'd be able to answer in five seconds or, 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 or less. And it just wouldn't be interesting. And then it would just drone on and on and on. So, unfortunately, they needed to make a lot of changes in the application that they never did. Um, it, unfortunate. It, it's very unfortunate. And so, I don't know. It's a distinct possibility. Maybe if and when we're able to attract more of the type of people who are like me, like the Star Wars collectors, the people who are interested in vintage stuff, toy collecting, or you know the, the pop culture kind of things, and less about the things that people think I'm interested in. It, it's a possibility. It, it, it absolutely is. Uh, ooh, this is this is a good question, Ricky. This is a fantastic question. Um, I'm oh by the way, Gambino. I'm not selling my logo stickers. I have no merch. If you haven't noticed, there's no merch in this channel because I'm not a designer. Like, I would love to have, a, like, a pixel art series of stuff. I just, I'm not a designer. And I, I don't, I mean, it's like, okay, I'm not even going to bother setting it up because I wouldn't sell anything. So what's the point of even trying? Um, what do I think the future is after the pandemic for both, uh, for big tech companies and remote working? I don't think big tech companies are going away. I don't. Uh, I think there's a, 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 a need and a place for them, despite what some people may say. Uh, I do believe, though, that... Um, at the same time, small business needs to thrive as well. Uh, the uh, uh, and, and again, disclosure and everything, I work for Intel. Very happy to work for Intel. Uh, I'm also very grateful because Intel has been, I'll go as far as to say, very accommodating. And, you know, we've got people working for Intel all around the globe. And before the pandemic hit, I was able to work remotely. I was able to get my job done. I was able to travel. I was able to do everything I needed to do. So when the pandemic hit, I was I was ready. I'm like I'm good. Like I'm I'm set. So many people weren't because they were so accustomed to going into work. Uh, my hope is that I, I'm not going to say there's no turning back. My hope is is it's a new type of reality because I believe in many ways big companies can save money, small companies can save money. We can all save time. We can all save effort. There are times that you need to be in person, you know, in the same room for one reason or another, and there are many times that you don't. Like, and I'm not. This is not indicative of Intel. It's indicative of, like, I think any business environment, including when I ran my own. Like, you know, when a call could have been an email, like a, a half-hour call could have been an email. Like, it happens. No matter where you are, where you go. So I think if they look at it in terms of efficiency, any big company, I, I, I think that there are uh, great changes underfoot. And, and we've been able to show that companies, big and small, can survive if there isn't a need for someone to be physically present at any particular uh, point in the, the business proposition. So, 
I think they'll survive. Yes. Calls once a month. Liz, uh, that is very generous. Not until there's a different way of managing them. You haven't watched episode nine yet, Glasses? Okay, watch it. Let me know. People, Some people didn't like episode nine. I, li I liked it. I'm not going to say I loved, loved it, but I loved it. I mean, in, I enjoyed it. And I mean, I don't feel guilty. Like, I see some people that just slag, you know, Star Wars up and down for all the, the problems it had, you know, it had. And, and, and I mean, I've, I've listened to the criticisms and I hear them and I'm like, okay, I can understand why that's a criticism. I still enjoyed it. I'm like, yeah, I guess that's a little weird, but it didn't take, I didn't, I didn't feel like I was slighted. Like I, I had lost something or my childhood was suddenly ruined. Um, I enjoyed it. I was, I was, you know, surprised or I guess I can't, you know, mention any spoilers since you haven't seen episode nine, but, um, yeah, uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I could watch it again. I, I, I will go as far as to say is episode nine was probably my favorite of the sequel trilogies. Just like in the prequels, I think, uh, Revenge of the Sith, hindsight being what it is, is probably my favorite of the sequel or the, the prequel trilogy. If Vader wasn't in Star Wars, which character would be your favorite? Uh, Blue Snaggletooth. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading the comments here. Do I wish they went with Mara Jade instead of Rey? Nah, you know, um, I'm glad they went with a new character. And the reason why is because if they went with Mara Jade, like, I, maybe, maybe I need to record this separately. Give me a second. During the live feed, someone by the handle Unfortunately Californian asked the question, do you wish they went with Mara Jade instead of Rey? As much as I knew who Mara Jade was, and while I was not someone who digested every single from Legends, the expanded universe, whatever you want to call it, uh, I knew of Mara Jade. I even knew there was an action figure of Mara Jade, but by and large, I stopped collection, collection? collecting Star Wars figures uh, after the vintage run ha had ended. Ended. Man, do I need to do this all over again? I don't think they made a mistake by going with a new character, and here's why. As much as people who loved uh, our, 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 our Legends or the EU... As much as they loved Mara Jade and they knew Mara Jade and, and they were they were invested in that character, there were millions who weren't. Like, they had no idea who Mara Jade was. Worse yet, if the uh, the movie producers and the script writers did something with the Mara Jade character in that scenario that ran counter to a story that had played out in the... Uh, the not so canon galaxy like the the legends fans or the eu fans would have been outraged like how dare you do this to mara jade how dare you give her blue hair everyone knows she doesn't have blue hair it would have been it would have been worse the pushback would have been horrible like so as much as mara jade is a known quantity to you and to me within that context everybody else that would have been watching the film wouldn't have had it. And it would have been like, it would have played like an inside joke. And I, I don't think they made a mistake by going with a new character because they were, you know, able to explore a thousand different scenarios. I mean, maybe not that many, but like they weren't limited by the past in any way, shape, or form. And I, I, I would like to possibly see the character brought into canon, much like I've liked... Uh, other characters from the Expanded Universe brought into canon, Thrawn being a prime example in Star Wars Rebels. Maybe we'll see more of Thrawn in future Star Wars productions, I don't know. I think for the feature-length films, uh, yeah, I, I, I think new characters are definitely a better way of going. So, is that, is that good? I'm morphing. Hopefully it recorded locally just fine. Yeah, the, the viewers are, like, fluctuating and stuff like that. Boy, I'm, this is going to be, a, I'm going to have to, like, extract, like, 17 videos from this one live video. Woo! Uh, 
Uh, one other thing I was going to mention, but I can't remember. I did enjoy Rogue One, though I still feel it needed to be a midi series, something that I hope is going to come back um, and prove me right uh, when Cassian or the Andor uh, Star Wars series is uh, released. I was I was going to mention something else, but I, I I guess I don't I don't know what. No, the bit I'm recording locally, which is independent of the uploading bandwidth, so we should be fine. Yeah, no, 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 I record locally. If only because I can only re-download at a lower quality with YouTube. I don't know. I mean, I know why, but I don't know why. Yeah. Jar Jar Binks needed an origin story movie. Eh, possibly. I, Jar Jar, he, did, he didn't bug me like other... It bugged other people. I know. I'm a horrible Star Wars fan for saying it. I'm sure you can think of a thousand reasons why I'm a horrible Star Wars fan. Uh, I cannot and will not answer questions about uh, my employer, but you know you can keep trying. That's anybody. It's like anybody you you, you know uh, who asks, "Hey, do tech videos?" I'm like, you need to be way the hell more specific, like way more specific. Like here's an example. Like someone asked a good question. Unfortunately, the Californian Mara Jade Ray, great question, right? Very specific. He didn't just say or ask the question, "Hey, do you what if they did a Star Wars with the other Star Wars?" Like it, So no, I'm not going to reveal anything that hasn't already been revealed. Uh, one, and two, I'm not going to say anything that I am definitely not authorized to say. Now, I can talk about Star Wars all day long. Cuz despite contrary or despite contrary Despite popular opinion, I don't work for Disney. Although they had a, a role open for a social media manager, I was reading the description. I'm like, that's a lot like what I do for Intel right now. But I'm like, that would be fun. But at the same time, like, I would be afraid because there's there's seemingly a lot of turnover with that role at Disney. I'd be afraid that the Star Wars fans would take away from my enjoyment of Star Wars, and I would I would hate to ever see that happen in me. Because Star Wars is the one last thing on this planet that just doesn't upset me. <laughs> so I, the last thing I want to do is, you know... And I'm not the only person to say something like that, too. I, I was talking to another uh, uh, manager who doesn't work at the same company, but I, I, I passed the, um, uh, the opportunity to her a while ago, or maybe it was a slightly different role in the same division. And she, she basically said the same thing. She said, like, you know, it's too close. Like, if it's too close to the fandom. And, you know, you, you just can't... It would change you. Like I, I don't want that. I don't need that. I don't. I don't want that. In me, I enjoy Star Wars too. I. Everyone needs something that they enjoy. Everyone. Star Wars is my thing. Okay, uh, everybody. I have reached well over an hour. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Oh, Liz is like texting me left and right. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just seeing your text, Liz, because I, I turned off the uh, notifications. Um, don't worry about it. It'll uh, it'll get better. Ooh, ooh, ooh hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A store is getting the Wampa? Whoa, a TBS 6-inch convention exclusive Hoth Wampa figure found at Best Buy. Okay, cool. I didn't know those were leaking out. I want to get the, uh, um, the carbon freezing chamber, but I've been waiting for it to be a good sale. I mean, there have been decent sales, like half off, but... I want a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Uh, thank you, everybody, uh, for tuning in. I will be back tomorrow with more Star Wars chatter. More fun. More answering questions. More halls. Not like halls you can suck on. Not halls you can walk down, but hall as in a, a bounty. Uh, thank you, once again, for, for doing what you do so that I can keep doing what I do. I, although, admittedly, I would talk about Star Wars whether or not you were here with me. So, thank you for being here. I love you, I appreciate you, and at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. And may the Force be...